Hello cuties and welcome back to the channel. So I have been on my hiatus for some time now and I will continue to be until I have uh, everything sorted out because I am going through quite difficult time. But I could not really pass on the B2B dingo music performance i have been waiting for b2b to appear on dingo for over two years and that is an incredibly long time and i've been way too excited to pass on this and also melody um their fandom have been incredibly supportive of me and incredibly sweet so i'm here i'm here to look at them i am excited to hear their new song as well so Let's get into it. Now, one thing that I really do have to mention before we start is that Melody are occupying my Patreon for almost a half a year now. So, so if you want more of my B2B analysis and reaction, my Patreon is booming with b2b content i'm gonna link it down in the description and in the pinned comments patreon is also the only way to support my main channel so i really appreciate it and now without any further ado b2b on dingo music let's go <laughs> They're so cutely cheesy. It's I love Hyunsik voice. It's so warm and so comforting. It has a little bit of a huskiness in it. He does use the tiniest little tremble at the end of his phrases. Something very similar to what Changsub actually does quite a lot. So it is almost a vibrato, but it is not connected enough. And it is creating this really lightweight little tiny effect on his voice. And his tone is just so really nicely rounded. He is not pushing it too much up into the nasal space. So it's really nicely relaxed. That's where it's getting that grounded, beautiful quality. Min Hyuk, I've been watching his solo career over years as well. He's an incredible charismatic person, incredibly charismatic person. I mean, that's given, but uh, I really always liked his phrasing in rap. It's very different from Peniel. It is very piercing. He has that animated, fast, clean quality that kind of we have two types of rappers in K-pop. Usually we do have the more structured, uh, more textured types that use a lot of growls, uh, are more monotone, but they're working more with a texture. And then we have rappers like him that are more clean. They are relying more on their more prominent tonal quality as he does and are very, very, very animated with their voice and very flexible with their, um, with their pitch. So they're fluctuating a lot to create a really interesting effect. incredible that the two people that I've probably heard the most at the very beginning when I was just exploring B2B was uh, definitely Chang Sub and An Kwang, mainly because they were on the kingdom and they were super fun and their singing is incredible. They are very, very comfortable in their passaggio, like you could hear it right now. 
he was fluctuating between his uh, falsetto and his chest voice and the movement around the passaggio was super super smooth so the passaggio is right between your chest and your head voice or your falsetto so you can have a very piercing strong supported mix there that can kind of sound like a belty sound from the chest it can be very nasal it can be very fronted and there also can be a huge difference between chest and head voice that's where for example yodel you can hear it's like hey, 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 right those are kind of fluctuating between two of the registers and when you have it very fluent it takes a lot of practice and um, a lot of skill and most of the b2b i'm pretty sure mainly singers but uh i think i would actually I, I would actually not be completely fair to Min Hyuk because I'm not sure if I've heard him sing in at that scale. I've heard him sing before and I know he's a pretty good singer as well. He's a great rapper, but a singer as well. So B2B particularly are so comfortable in their passaggio. And Kwang is their leader, um, is one of the best singers when it comes to highest tones. He's just completely unriveled for me. But all of them, all of them has such a good technique in that space and they're so comfortable with it, it's obvious. was a very brave early reconnection to his chest but it definitely paid off because that tone the development of the tone was gorgeous <laughs> In my opinion, Sung Jae is actually probably the most grounded of all of them and none of them shy away from the very high tones and none of them uh, have any issues to climb there, not even Sung Jae, but I really appreciate that most of his time he's really, really grounded and he's using more of a belty sound. <laughs> Yes, and one, let's go. A little harmony. Woo. Ooh, the tickled. Mm. B2B is, B2B are kings of structure. They are not a simplistic group, okay? Let's just put it on the table. They are not a simplistic group. So you're not going to find a very empty, simple sound from them. And there's nothing wrong with full sound. There's nothing wrong with simplistic sound. I'm actually a fan of both, but in different contexts and scenarios. But B2B is definitely more of a complex type. And, uh... And they are going to have tons of ad libs, uh, tons of harmonies in the background. It's just going to have a lot of going on, but they always manage to keep it still readable and understandable. And it's not just like one wall of a sound. It has always really beautiful texture. Are oh, we getting a lot of, a lot of Min Hyuk just talking to our soul? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I just recently, by the way, I reacted to um, Hyun Sik, his like entire eight minutes special. And I found out he is, he loves kind of like, he does have a little bit of a country, country background. It's not like a country music. It's more of like a folk. So folk. So I'm more precise, not country folk. And I was so surprised because, oh my God. He, in a B2B, he's kind of like a little shyer member in the background. But if you if you haven't listened anything from him on solo way, oh my god, go listen. He has such a beautiful structured voice in his in his solo stuff as well and solo performances. Really worth it. Again, you're gonna find that in Patreon. <laughs> 
제 마음을 전하려고 합니다 좋아요 네. 과연 그녀가 제 마음을 받아줄까요? 네! 오늘은 왠지 느낌이 좋습니다 자존심도 더 버리고 두 번째 고백 하고 싶은 말이 많아도 생략할게 멋지게 나 변할게 오늘부터 다시 메이크 it's like leave it to Peniel to forget his lyrics honestly <laughs> he's so adorable i don't care how Peniel will be old in the future he still sounds like a like a young boy like he sounds like a boyish playful it is so fun to listen to him <laughs> Look at him, his literally voice acting. I love rappers like that. I think Min Hugo was actually one of those that laid basis for them and K-pop. And I'm so thankful because, oh my god. <laughs> I always loved Eun Kwang. I consider him one of the best vocalists of K-pop overall. He's insanely good. He has a very a typical tone quality, slightly nasal, uh, but that helps his placement so, so much. And he can climb to any tone and sustain a very substantial mix if he wants to. So it's really cool. Beautiful, but, but. He, he uses the most cries and like a little a vocal flips um, in his singing style, uh, Sungjae from the, the whole B2B, and the most grounded tone, even though here he went up to the mix. So it's not an issue for him to go there, but I really love that he maintained a little bit of a stronger basis for the rest of the group. This is piece of cake for uh, for Hyunsik. Honestly, I've heard him do crazy belts. And when I say he was belting, he was actually chest belting. So it was not like kind of like a little mixed belt here and there, like a chest mix. No, he's so brave with his uh, higher tones. He can open them really nicely. He actually put quite often a lot of texture on top of them. So a little fry or just really nice subtle texture that's creating much better effect. He's not doing it too much in B2B, or I haven't heard him do it, do that too much in B2B, but oh. Back to me for eternity. Take a listen to my second confession, please. B2B is not a melody. It's not a melody. It's not a melody. It's not a melody. It's not a melody. I'm not sure why, but the sound is fluctuating, like the volume is fluctuating a lot. So I'm sorry if I have to stop from time to time and if I have to adjust. I love how they are utilizing Peniel to completely let go of any tension in the entirety of the group, honestly. When Peniel is rapping, um, the whole mood changes. Like, I can see them doing random fun sounds. It's, it's also coming from his... Um, different rap style but uh and kind of like his whole aura but you can tell like the whole group like he is the relaxing like the relaxing component of this group when when penny is on forefront everyone's having fun it's just it's it's given <laughs> As 
as of recently, I'm the biggest stan of this man. Like the biggest stan of this man. He literally stole my heart. Really pretty head mix there. Why don't you read my girl? Let's get it on, let's get it on. You are the only one for me. Cute little harmony. They're adding quite a lot of post-production on their voices, which is a pity because I we've heard B2B sing thousands and thousands of times before. They have absolutely nothing to prove when i say nothing nothing and i i've heard b2b singing in a very stylized manner which was on the tv shows and stuff like that where they have post-production by default like heavy post-production right just some shows just are gonna do that you're not gonna get rid of that but uh i've heard him sing also in extremely natural surroundings which is a tiny little technical uh help on the microphone and stuff like that like really natural sound I prefer that. I prefer that so, so much because they have gorgeous voices. Their tone, tone qualities vary across the group. They have different singing styles and just all those little details in their natural sounds. I love them. I'm loving Dingo. I know the Dingo have their own kind of way they curate their sound, but I do like more natural sound for B2B. When I said it, Eun Kwang is one of the best vocalists of uh, of K-pop. Chung Sub is one of the best storytellers. I've heard him sing and cover a lot of Japanese songs as well. I've just reacted to him singing with his vocal coach, Ali. That was incredible. Chung Sub is a beautiful storyteller. It comes from his technique. I think his um, vocal coach is very into like bluesy sound and... Uh, she definitely transferred it to him as well. There's a little bit of kind of imprint on it, of it on his uh, singing technique as well. And he can put so much emotion into his singing. And one thing that I'm super happy about is that he can maintain that with the B2B sound as well. So it's very similar the way he sings solo and the way he sings in B2B. And he has a little bit complicated singling, singing style. So um, a lot of times those kind of singing styles get a little muted within the group setting. But he managed to keep it fully within the B2B. And I think it's really cool. <laughs> God, I like when he enjoys so much. I told you he can sing. I was flabbergasted when I have heard I mean he sing for the first time in like a full singing mode, right? He's one of the original like singer rapper kind of same level. I know that he chose to go more for the rap parts, but I love him as a singer as well. He has a little bit like um cleaner tone. He has a lot of fry in it, and I like when he sings, and I like when he just fluently passed from singing to rap and from rap to singing. It's just so effortless. <laughs> Spot my bias. Oh. It's like a honey.
the gorgeous ad libs in the background. Oh my god, I'm not breathing. One of my favorite songs from them. Um, I really like that the, the ad libs is a little are a little bit more muted. They're not too built on top of each other. It's more of like a one solid ad lib to create a little bit, a little bit of a background for the me main melody. And I like that song. Jay is still capped in more ability space. The melody of this song is gorgeous. Minhyuk is half singing. I get everything what I want from this song, like all of it, everything. <laughs> Mm. It works with air so nicely. Look at that. Completely dispersed into like just a little resonant feeling in the air. Chunk Sub's very big quality is that he can sing clean, he can sing airy. He can sing half and half. It's just like a, the dosage is literally up on him. He controls it perfectly. He knows when and how to deliver with either airy or more clean singing. This is what I meant with him mostly in a belting position. I was beautiful little belt and really chesty, so there was no mixing. You can hear the weight of it, literally. No mixing whatsoever it's heavy it's emotional jump oh the stability and weight of that gorgeous open pelt and then jumping into that really substantial falsetto there oh <laughs> that tone is that tone is his that's his tone that's built for him. I've always said that since I heard this song for a very first time. <laughs> look, at, look at his face. You can tell. <laughs> Literally. Oh, M. Kong is always so proud of everyone who just kills it vocally because it's just like, he's like a dear little vocal coach. It's incredible. But that tone is built for, built for Hyunsik so much. I heard him do these type of tones in his private performances a lot and i was flabbergasted he's so confident in them they're so nicely resonant the tone is gorgeous it's not piercing or too much yeah <laughs> 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 And the soft tone right after that. How can you not bop around when Penny Oil is singing? Like, you just, you just get to pop around. This three men is all we need to heal the world. That's all. Their harmony, that that's that's I can feel the world healing right now. Melody, 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 melody. 
That was a really nice mix. It was more of a head mix and then like a chestier mix that would be more anchored to his chest head mix, but really nice. He still managed to go with a clean tone and not just ah, ah, very, very space. Ah, ah, ah. He was able to clean it up, so it was really nice. Almost choked. Damn, Eun Kwang looked at me straight to my eyes and started choking. Um, Eun Kwang um, has this gorgeous falsetto that he can put on a lot of, you know, a lot of vibrato with. It's Eun Kwang's style. It's very typical to him. It's very special to him. When you hear Eun Kwang sing, you immediately know it's him. But, um... I like that he picks and chooses from a different singing style, something here and there to create his signature one. And with his tonal quality, it's just so recognizable that you just can't miss it. You can't miss it. <laughs> fighting. 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 So, we're going to sing this song together. Let's pray together. Ooh! 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 Oh my god, I'm nervous. Okay. It's the song, guys. It's the song. Soft beginning does not make you ready at all for what's about to come because that will destroy you emotionally. God, I'm so uncoordinated today. So I'm sorry for all the punches of the microphone or the table. But uh, oh my God, I'm so excited for this one. This is oh. We gotta go back. I, I, we gotta go back. I feel like they actually added to the harmony this time. Oh my god, the wall of the sound. The harmony is not chaotic, it's not too busy, but it is really building up to this really huge wall of the sound that's gonna get you ready for that really high tone also the chunks up uh coming in with that falsetto right now with a clean piercing there's no air in that that's what i talked about him and his air management he's gonna go very clean tone it's gonna create gorgeous gorgeous effects on top of that <laughs> How did they manage to comprime this song into this one, one moment? This is a moment. This is a moment. I have no idea how they comprimed this all together, but this was absolutely incredible. So somehow they captured the essence of the whole song because the song does build up towards that highest place to that really high climax of that song. And they somehow captured it and put it all together into really short intro that was really soft and then an immediate hectic build up to that really high tone and saying this song is one of the hardest songs of k-pop and i will argue about that this is one of the hardest ones and a lot of people scared of this song for a very good reason 
자, 분위기 한번 바꿔보겠습니다. 분무기인 줄 알았어. 네, 이번 곡은 굉장히 화끈하고 신나는 노래죠. B2B의 락을 느낄 수 있는 노래. 파이어 가겠습니다. 어. This is freaking dope, you got it on. 미칠 정도로 숨 막히고. 빙빙 돌고 쏘는 파도. 삭정이 해서 번지 M. Listen to that pitch fluctuation. That was like a little hiccup on the way up. Oh, when he plays, he plays. Ooh, we got a little bit of a texture on the belt there. So a tiny little bit of a fry into that belt. Nice. That was a gorgeous mix of right there. You can tell he has the best drop in his jaw. Like honestly, when you look at Hyunsik, you can learn from him how to actually properly position your jaw for really nice resonant belts. But again, Hyunsik was more the one that I expected the little texture from. So Sungjae, thank you for some texture. That was really, really nice. <laughs> Actually, Eunkwang with the texture as well, I did not expect that at all. Now, when I say at all, at all, I don't think I have heard Eunkwang use any texture on his voice before. So this is the first for me, and I, I like it. I like how they can morph and adjust their style a little bit for kind of the genre of the song. So if they go for a more rock sound, they all can deliver a lot on top of their singing style that is... Standard. Oh, blue moon. Oh, we love blue moon. Oh, This song always had like a musical vibe, but when they put all of this together, this strong belty harmony there. Hello. <laughs> Hyunsung also shows a lot of work with air. Even though with the rap, people would arguably say that, what can you do with air in a rap? You can do a lot. Like, da na 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 Right, going from air to more clean tones, especially with his style that is very, very, very based on movement. It doesn't only have to be movement in his pitch, but also more in a dynamic sphere. So a little bit more air on the softer tones, um, immediately exchanged with the cleaner, more piercing tones. Ernie <laughs> <laughs> adorable. That amazing ad lib from Eun Kwang right there that went to really nice head mix. <laughs> oh, listen to those ad lib. Ah, ah. It's so very nicely done. And since we are a little bit more in musical, the previous ones were more rockish ones. Ah, Right? Those are like a more of a textured rocky. Ah! Now we are in a little bit more kind of cabaret feeling. They adjust it so beautifully that you almost don't even recognize what they're doing. It's so good. <laughs> Hello. 
little rawr in the background. Yes, growl. Nice. Hong Kong is such a clown. And it's so fun because it transfers heavily into his singing style as well. Like he can do so much with his voice. Honestly, I do not think there's anything that he would be really intimidated to do. And he proved it times and times again. Oh, the song that came out last year. The song is dedicated to Melody so beautifully. I think they are mentioned there in the song as well in the lyrics. Very sneakily. It's beautiful how B2B always think about you guys. The amount of huskiness he naturally gets when he gets in the lower spaces of uh, lower spaces of his voice. There's so much beautiful resonance. Min Hyuk's eye contact with a camera is deadly. It's it's deadly, especially if you watch some of his music videos. <laughs> it's deadly. This era was Aung Kwang's era, 100%. This song is a love song, it's a love letter to Melody. And um, the, this, this exact space where this was not a particular belty and aggressive song. So there was a lot of usage of higher tones, but mostly in their mixed of voice. And that's where Aung Kwang absolutely shines. And you can hear the beauty of his movement through that space. There is no, no obvious vocal break. Not that the vocal break would be something bad. There are a lot of singing styles that use a vocal break on purpose as a stylistic choice, but his movement around that space and his passaggio is beautiful. It's so intricate. It never loses its stability. It's clean. And I don't know, this was his era. He shined for me in this song probably the most it was really and it's such a beautiful love letter to their fans it's really sweet yeah. Upper tone from Elm Kwan. The way they can cover the entire scale with no gaps whatsoever is incredible. This is that typical M Kwang. Ah, the high tones. Oh, but he look look at him. He's fine. He like the thing that would stress other people so much. It's just chill for him. Those are the tones that he really enjoys. So this is nothing. <laughs> Oh, 
you to step up in time. Uri, uri. Bunch of clowns. <laughs> I think we're gonna get the new song now. I haven't heard it yet. Who's living under the rock? Okay. This is the part when I always call Chunks an absolute master of his voice because if you compare this part to any other part in this performance, every part will be a little different. He works with his voice so well on a dynamic scale, but also, again, with air, with intensity. This was really nicely belted. Oh, we're finally getting texture from Hyunsik. Hell yeah! It's a very different countdown. Oh, I like the chanty vibe of this song. I don't think I've had... We've got a lot of chanty types of songs from B2B. And... I haven't expected that. I like that it's kind of intertwined with a lot of really powerful, punchy belts. And yeah, I like it. I like it very spring-wise. It's very much like, let's start this year with a punch. I know we're not starting this year. I know it's like literally May. But let me be, let me be in January, okay? I'm still not in sync with the fact that it's like a half year almost gone. Oh my god. Oh, was that on the last one? We go one more. Look at the tone. It's punchy and clean, but it is not obnoxious and loud and strained. It's so relaxed and nice. It doesn't just kick you uncomfortably, even though it is really like jumped in and very immediate it's not uncomfortable for the listener he knows how to dose himself so nicely yes that's true and the jump in that belt was that was dangerous that was something very brave to do because if you're not comfortable and 100 percent confident in that kind of jump right into the tone oh like a tack on it ah, na, na, na. that's why it's good that he used a little bit of a texture at the beginning that fry can help to stabilize the tone <laughs> This is how you properly climb into your mix. So slides are amazing to get through your passaggio. So if you are struggling with your vocal break and you would like to clean it up a little bit and get it under more control, do slides. Slide exercises for vocals. Ah, you can climb so effortlessly up in your uh, mix. <laughs> A 
subtle vibrato. Beautiful guys, good job. Born to beats. Nice. <laughs> that was emotional to say the least. I am so actually I'm so very grateful for this performance because I am going through quite a tough point of my life and this really got me out of my shell a little bit b2b never really does disappoint on the vocal side of course ever but with a vibe with a feel with a genuine feeling of the relationship and friendship between the guys it's just really amazing to watch them kind of work on their stuff throughout the years and that's why i really like dingo but it would be to be it kind of hits different because you can tell how consistent they were with the quality especially from the vocal point of view but also when it comes to composition and uh the way they the way they express through their songs so they were incredibly consistent if you would play this to anyone and try to get them like organize these songs from like the oldest to youngest based on maybe quality they would struggle <laughs> they would struggle so thank you so much for recommending this one of course i really do appreciate it i will be reacting to b2b definitely more in the future they're one of my favorite songs uh they are one of my favorite bands from k-pop please don't forget to check my patreon there are there's just tons and tons of content for you melodies and uh yeah if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here's the video that youtube actually recommends for you and here is rest of my b2b reactions please stay safe and healthy bye bye